Uh, I'm Tex Harris. Uh, I was uh, for 36 year a battle scarred uh, fighter in the Department of State uh, Foreign Service serving uh, in a number of hot spots. Uh, this is one of my worst moments. I was a, a human rights officer in Argentina during a dirty war. What's a dirty war? Dirty war is when the government is fighting an anti-terrorist campaign and they decide to fight it by kidnapping, torturing, and killing people. In Argentina, they ran the score up to kill over 15,000 people, and I was the guy who was doing the reporting on it, and the military who was doing the killing knew about my reporting and didn't like it. One evening, my wife and I were invited to a dinner party in the outskirts of Buenos Aires in some guy's little, little farm. And we went out there, and Argentine parties start very late. I mean, they, they start at 9 o'clock, and you may not get fed till 11. And uh, anyway, about midnight, my wife came up to me and said, I'm exhausted. Our, the Joneses, are, our next-door neighbors, are going home. I'm going to catch a ride with them unless you're willing to leave now. And I said, no, go ahead, and I'll, I'll drive by myself. So about 1.30, after having some conversations with some uh, uh, key contacts who were at this uh, politician's party. Um, I drove home on an empty road in the middle of the night, and all of a sudden I noticed there was a car behind me. And all of a sudden there was a stoplight, and at the stoplight was another car, and I stopped behind that car, and the car behind me pulled right up against my bumper, and within five seconds of that, the Four doors on each of the cars opened up, and eight guys jumped out of their cars with handguns and long rifles. And I'm sitting in my car, and I said, this is the end. I said, Harris, you're gone. You're gone. But I had read, uh, I guess I'd seen a movie on television or something like that, that if you kept your hands over your head, when the bullet went in, the forensic guys could see the entry trajectory and know that your hands were in the air. So I figured the only way they would claim that uh, they, they shot me was because I was going for a gun underneath the seat. So I fixated in my mind, keep your hands over your head. So I reached in my pocket, I locked the car door, reached in my pocket, got my diplomatic ID card, and I lowered the window on the driver's side by about a half an inch. And finally a guy came up to me and a guy's around me in the middle of the night with guns. And I'm thinking, keep your arms up, keep your arms up or you die. So I handed my diplomatic ID card through the window and I told the guy, Cuerpo Diplomatico, uh, what's the problem, what the hell's going on here? He looked at my card and uh, it, discussed it with the other people there, and then they finally came back and they gave me my card, and I'm sitting there like this, waiting for the bullets to come in, and they said, uh, you ran a red light, which I hadn't done. And they said, be careful in your driving. Clearly, uh, the military stunt uh, was to scare me, which they did. Um, the military, truly wanted me and my work to end in Argentina. It didn't happen. I stayed. Um, and I made a difference, and I'm very proud of that today.